Hello, 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 welcome back to my channel, and I'm back with another freaking video. How are y'all doing? Fun, I hope. It is December 19th, and we are almost ready for Christmas. Let me know if you're going out of town, if you're staying in town. Let me know what are your plans. So, this is going to be why I'm starting to do nails and two story times. I'm going to make it interesting, y'all. So, my reason for doing nails is I'm having a hard time finding a consistent loyal nail tech for one. The nail tech that I went to last time, I give her an A+. Plus. My girl slayed, okay? She slayed. She took her time. And, you know, she was good and she was honest. And I like that. Now, my reason for going into it, going into nails is because there's a lot of nail techs, upcoming nail techs, but they don't have the passion. My thing is, I am willing to spend my money for what I want. I teach my daughters customer services of a virtue. If you're in a store and you see that they're watching you, Take $500 worth of shit, walk up to the register, let them ring it up, and then walk out. Why? Because there's no reason to be profiling me. Because if I'm in the store, I can obviously buy it. So, I am going to be doing nails, but I am not going to be taking on clients. I will be doing my girls' nails. I have seven girls, so I will be doing their nails. Um, I will be doing my nails. But I am going to do a maintenance vlog with a different nail tech because, again, I still need a nail tech for when I don't want to do my nails. I mean, why do I not deserve to go get pampered and spend my money? So, that's that. But, let me know if y'all want a nail series. If you want to see how I start off or what I will be doing, I will record videos for you. Let me know in the comments below. We're going to call this first scammer story, story time How I Got Scammed by an Influencer. So, if you have been rocking with me like an A1 day one, you know that I have been asking y'all who do your intros, your outros, and stuff like that. I have been really looking for somebody I could keep on a payroll. So they could do all of that for me, including my editing, right? So the noise that you hear is my son does not want to go to bed, but he got school in the morning, so he's going to bed. So um, anyway, this influencer, we're going to call her. Thief. She was running a promo. Twenty dollar intro and intro outro and the banner and stuff was about thirty five dollars. So it really wasn't too much. I reached out to her, cash tapped her, sent her everything. Asked her could she upload it? Will it just pop up with all of my videos and stuff like that? She told me yes. Now, this is the problem. Cash tapped her, gave her the money. She showed me my intro and everything. My intro was never uploaded. All these years I've been on YouTube, I don't have an intro. Now, some of y'all are saying, well, you can use these apps and do it yourself. <laughs> I do not have two hours to edit, make an intro, and do all that. And I'm dealing with my normal mom duties right so i waited gave her about two weeks then i reached out again and um no response 
I waited about two more weeks and there was no response. Now, did I blast her? No. Did I expect to get my $35 back? No, because at that point, that's four weeks. That's a month. I knew that I was scammed, boo. I don't do business with her. If you were to recommend me to her, I am not going to deal with her. Not at all. It's just not going to happen. And it's sad because she promotes, she's very business-minded, very business-oriented, and all of that. But we're going to say two years in the making, and I still have no intro and outro. Keep that in mind. But I made my payment. So that's the end of that story time. Now, this is going to be how I got scammed. As an influencer. Now, I don't know how long y'all been here, but I've been doing a lot of hair reviews from the beginning of time. So, one girl on Instagram, K Hair, Kai Hair, I forgot. I did her video. Um, she sent me the wig. I promoted her hair. She was grateful. She loved the content. I still have that wig. If you're watching to this day, love, I still have her boo. And she's still banging. But okay. Um, you know, she was a small upcoming hair promoter. She just wanted somebody to review her wig. I reviewed her wig. It's a wig. Human hair. <laughs> Why would I not, right? Reviewed the wig. She got some sales. And it worked out for her. No, I didn't get a discount code or none of that. It was none of that. I was just promoting for her company. Very good. Would always work with her. I would recommend her. If you want to go back in these videos, check out the video, check out the hair. DM her on IG because she got some banging hair. And so we're going to call this scammer, scammer too, influencer. Now, this girl reached out to me about four weeks straight. So, we're going to say a month. She showed me two wigs and she said she's looking for ambassadors to promote her wigs. They were 28 inches, already colored hair wigs that she needed promoted. Then she showed me she had a small boutique where she was selling handbags. And at this time, I think the Yankee bags was out. Yeah, they were the Yankee bags. So, all together, I had to send her one fifty, And I would get my tracking number and everything in the mail. And she would put in the description bar because she wanted me to be an ambassador for her hair. So, I sent it. I was like, you know what? Let's see what she's about. So, I sent it. And lo and behold, I waited. I waited 24 hours. No tracking number. So, finally, I reached out back to her that next Monday. And I'm like, um, I never received my tracking number or anything of that. And she was like, like, there was no reply, no answer, no nothing. So I waited and I went back and I seen that she read it. I was like, okay, cool. She read it. She understood it. I went back 24 hours later and I was blocked. And I was like, that is why as an influencer, when if I tell you I'm giving you free promo, you have to DM me. You have to legit show me everything you're doing because I have, I honor people. Character is how I judge you. So if I tell you I'll give you free promo, baby, I'll give you free promo. I have sponsorship with companies coming up these next couple of months that I'm going to do because I agreed to do them. 
Doesn't matter where they're from. Doesn't matter who they are. I agree to it. That is just my character, my nature. But she scared me. And I'm like, okay, cool. I didn't look for her. I didn't research her. Um, she's actually been blocked. Um, yes, I know they make other pages. Yes, I know they be trying to reach out, but um, I don't care. So I need to be able to look up your company, know that you're legit, and I need to be able to see your name. Because if I can't do any of that, I cannot. And before y'all say, oh, that's wrong, no. If I'm promoting something for you, I am not going to scam you. And yes, I know it works both ways. What I realize is a lot of people who want promotion will scam you. So, you want to catch 22. And as an influencer, you will get scammed more than you will be willing to get paid. So, with being an influencer or an upcoming influencer, I will tell you this. Invest in yourself, invest in your craft, and never forget your worth. I don't forget my worth. I know what I can do. I know what I can't do. I know my views and analytics. But if you ask me for a TikTok, you're going to pay more for that TikTok and that IG reel than I might charge you for a YouTube video. That's just the way it goes. Stay safe, stay safe, blessed, and at peace, and don't get scammed like I did. Later, dolls and gents.